happened this week. JK, yeah. like, nothing happened this week. However, there was some Splatfest news. Uh, Miyamoto, I guess, tired of Nintendo news leaking, he decided to leak the news himself. <laughs> uh, a release date, I guess they forgot about it last week. Pokemon news, and of course, there was a game that released this week that uh, none of us care about. So, yeah, no, uh, not at all. Anyway, what we're playing, Armando. Hello, that's me. Right, I forgot to introduce us. I'm Connor. Yes. That was Armando. I'm Noah. Yeah, so Armando, <laughs> tell us what you're playing. This is going great. <laughs> so, um, I played a bit of Splatoon, like for 20 minutes. Then I played a... I was playing Persona 3, although I didn't make a lot of progress this week, so that was kind of a bummer. Um, then I got sidetracked by Hatsune Miku Project Mirai DX. Dance. It's, yeah, it's, it's fun. It's fun. If you have a 3DS, and if you don't have anything to play on it, buy this game. I, I bought it when, when Tearaway came out, and I only played Tearaway for like 20 minutes. So. I'm trying to think. That's a good point, because have any good 3DS games come out this year? Uh, <laughs> no. Um, Rude. If you're dude, in I can't Japan, think of any. Fireball yeah, exactly. Is... I can't think of any. That's so weird. And it's just September. Remakes. Just re- remakes, basically. Yeah. Like Majora's Mask, so what? Uh, and Xenoblade. Yeah. Remakes. Then what else? There's Chibi Robo, which Triforce looks Heroes. fun, but like, Triforce no one Heroes wants Heroes it. Game of the year. Triforce uh, Heroes has like no competition. <laughs> Yeah. Still, uh, it, I think I've, I'm having a lot of fun with uh, Hatsune Miku. I'm having uh, a lot of fun with my Wii U. Uh, yeah, that too. Uh, and I've played this little indie game called Super Mario Maker. Yeah, yeah, no one's heard of that. Yeah, and that's about it. It's basically uh, Unity for Wii U. Yeah, it's pretty yes, niche. Exactly. If you haven't heard, if you haven't heard of it, you know, maybe check it out. <laughs> Noah. Yeah. Uh. I I've had a very busy week, so I haven't had much time to play games. But as of today, I've been playing a crap ton of Super Mario Maker because I love the game. Um, still a little bit frustrated trying to get the formula down for unlocking stuff, but I'm going to experiment with it after this podcast. Um, and it's it's really fun. Uh, you know, it's really fun to make levels. It's really fun to see people playing and liking your levels. Uh, and it's cool to know that there's unlimited levels waiting out there for me. Good stuff. Played JJ Stars, and I can't remember if I actually played Persona 4 this week or not. Uh, you I did. You did. Okay. You I did. I remember. Also got a review code for Fault Milestone 2 Side Above, which is why I haven't been playing uh, Persona that much. And uh, yeah, uh, Unity for Wii U. That's a really fun <laughs> game too. You don't even Unity. have to pay for the assets to jam into your game and release on Steam. The downside, however, is you can't make quick bucks off it, so... No, you can make no bucks whatsoever. Yeah, well, I mean, you could sell the code, but who would pay for it? Yeah. And you can only really do that once, or someone else could just be like, here's the code, guys. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, because then they can follow you, and then they people can see who like they're following or whatever, and then everyone will have access. Mm-hmm. No way to make money. Um, but yeah, it's a fun game. I think we all agree on that. Mm-hmm. Even though we've all sort of we haven't really dug into it completely. Yet. You know, we're scratching the surface, as they say. Mm-hmm. I think great things can come out of it, even if there are a few crappy levels out there. I've got it. <laughs> well, I guess I can talk about it now. Uh, very interesting level I played by Jimmy Wetzel. I don't know if you guys are familiar with him on YouTube. Um, and it was called The Real Squid Jump. And I went in not knowing what to expect. Um, but immediately, uh, I was launched, uh, by, launched by a spring and given the Inkling Boy costume. And I was running through this maze of, or like a tunnel with a pipe on top and on bottom for like a minute. And there was nothing. I'm like, uh, is this a joke? <laughs> but then I jumped back above the pipes, <clears throat> ran all the way across the other end, Jumped up, and there were, um, oh boy, 
there were single block platforms which lasted that entire way which you had to jump across. <laughs> uh, and yeah, and the thing is you couldn't die, but you would have to run all the way back to the start if you fell. And I, I did not bother to beat it um, because it was <laughs> incredibly frustrating. Uh, so yeah, don't... ice blocks. Oh god, that would be even worse. Or like music blocks. <laughs> <laughs> I, I guess it could be worse on the bright side, but um, it was cool to see the Inkling Boy costume. His up taunt is, yes! Yeah, um, and it does a little radar ping, so that's a cool costume. Uh, and I've, you know, aside from the occasional frustrating level, I've had fun with every level I've played. Mm-hmm. Same here. There's a couple of them that I don't like. Yeah. Uh, I, don't, I, like I don't like the trend of people making those um, do, don't touch anything levels. Yeah, like the automatic levels. Those are. Uh... However, yeah. I did see a cool one. Did you guys play yeah. that Mario Kart level? Yeah. Yeah. That's that not really a awesome. don't touch anything though, because you have to hold right and walk. No, the, the, there is a there is one that's don't touch anything. Okay, some of them are cool, but uh, I feel that they're gonna. Yeah. I mean, the only one a lot played, of them. The only one I played that wowed me was the Mario Kart one. But anyway, we should talk more about this in the actual Mario Maker section. Do we have one? Oh, yeah. we do. My bad. <laughs> um. So, Nintendo downloads. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, this week, obviously, the main attraction being Super Mario Maker. It's sixty dollars. Get over it. It's unlimited Mario levels. Be grateful. Uh, people complaining that sixty dollars. God. Seventy here. Oh God. Yeah, what you gonna do? Thanks, Canada. <laughs> um, there's also an indie game called The Swindle in the Wii. Which is apparently pretty cool. Another game called Cube Director's Cut, which um, we heard about a long while ago, but I guess it's like an enhanced version for the Wii U. And a game I feel like I should mention called Funky Physics. Um, mm. And again, that is funky. You know, previous funky barn, now funky physics. It's got to be good, right? That Meaver's community is just going to be people. You know, <laughs> the funky barn cult regrouping over a new game. Um, and on the Wii U Virtual Console, Tech Mobile, which is like football. Um, you know, there are much better football games out there. Oh, no, I'm uh, sure it's quality. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure it's not. I'm sure it's not bad. Um, and uh, on 3DS, you can get Hatsune Miku Project Mirai DX. Uh, which is a Best rhythm game. game. Best game. Best game. Apparently it's pretty cool. I like rhythm games. Uh, I might check it out because, as we mentioned before the podcast started, oh no, we talked about this during mobile playing. Um, there's not really many 3DS games, notable ones that have come out this year. So, you know, and I like rhythm games. So I'll check it out, I'm sure. Yeah, well, and check, there's a demo. Check out the demo, oh, yeah. The demo, yeah. Um, Actually, the demo convinced me to buy it. That's oh, kind of weird. Because I, yeah. I played demos and never really care about the game or bothered to buy it, but this was like... One of those times. And uh, 3DS theme, Super Mario Brothers Famicom cartridge. So, you know, I guess to tie in, kind of uh, tie in with the Mario Anniversary slash Mario Maker release. Yay. Uh, yay. Uh, and that's it for this week. Uh, slim pickings, but tasty pickings. So, you know, by Mario Maker, basically. And Hatsune Miku. Yes. <laughs> Best $100 you'll ever spend. Put those two games together. <laughs> exactly. Um... And uh, no, you know, Splatoon, we haven't been, I guess, talking about quite as much. Um, but the next Splatfest is coming up, so I figure we'll mention it. Very interesting. Uh, this might be my favorite topic thing yet. Um, like, team teams yet. Yeah. It's art versus science. Um, I think that's really cool. I'm probably going to go with art. I'm a writer, uh, so I'm art. Yep. I'm going to go with science. I think it's... Art and yeah, I saw your Twitter with uh, Jesse Pinkman. Um, <laughs> yes, exactly. And yeah, I mean, I'm gonna go with art, assuming it's not just the drawing form of art, but like all forms, like you know, writing, singing, uh, theater, all that. You know, I, I dig that. Um, science, on the other hand, I like it, but I prefer the arts. Okay, so what do you think uh, is gonna win the popularity? Ooh, art. it's tough to say. I think uh, it's probably gonna be art because there's a I lot th- of artists. I think artists art's on gonna the win arts. popularity. But I think science might take it in uh, in skill. I've been exactly, uh, I'm reading the subreddit, and mm-hmm. a lot of people actually seem more torn. Like they're neutral on both; they don't really like one more than the other. So I don't actually know if it's going to be that clear cut. Because even drawers are saying, like, "Well, I don't really think art is better than science. I'm good mm-hmm. at art, but I wouldn't say art is better." Yeah. So, I'm sure there are people that feel strongly about either way, but it for uh, yeah, it probably is a toss-up for a lot. It really depends on like how you're taking it. As if 
do you yeah. prefer them or are you which better one do you think's better are you it's better also like one? and it's also like by art does it mean like purely yeah you know drawing or like the arts yeah because uh, it's just like paint brushes for the so i would assume thing. that's just uh drawing which in that case i'm gonna have to go with science um because i'm not you know i, I i'm not a you know, I, I can appreciate nice art, but I, I'm more enthusiastic about science. I'd also like to say uh, Blaze Kick reported on this before most major sites, including yeah. Nintendo America's Twitter. Boom, get that. <laughs> it was on okay, the Splatoon Tumblr, right? Yes, yeah, Splatoon Real Tumblr. Real question, did we get it before it came explained? I think so. Ooh, wow. Yeah, we out here. Nintendo oh. sent us review copies. We're better. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, if you're in Europe, um, you can have a... Maybe not so good theme of messy room versus clean room. Yay, they get the best. Uh, <laughs> I like just, it. I like just, it. Yeah, it's just curious. Just curious, what would you guys pick? Uh, I would go with messy room. I say clean. I have a clean room. I'd probably be messy too. Yeah. Now, I have an interesting theory. Messy will definitely win. <laughs> it's Splatoon, oh, yeah. right? Think about it. The people who get clean are going to try to paint every little, like, spot. That's not the effective strategy in Splatoon. <laughs> <laughs> I just think it's interesting to think about, so uh, yeah. I think Messi will definitely take the win there. There was also uh, the H3 Nozzle Nose. Uh, I think L3. L3 Nozzle Nose. Uh, that released. Don't think any of us played it. Pretty uh, much no. no one cared about it. Yeah, I'm starting to care less and less about the weapons as they come out, honestly. Well, a lot of them are just so close to weapons that already yeah. exist. Just, like, minor tweaks. Except for, uh, I would imagine the mini Splatling is pretty different. As Probably. opposed to heavy. But, like... The L3 versus H3, like, I definitely like, big. I don't really feel like, oh, I'm gonna go try this weapon now. Especially now that other stuff's been coming out and Splatoon's exactly. three months old. Yeah. I mean, as much as I love it, you know, there are other things to focus on, too. Mm. Um... And I guess that's the first platoon talk. Uh, and apparently there's some kind of NX rumor. I'm not really in the know about this, but I'm sure one of you guys are. So, um, I'm not sure exactly where this came from. But, uh, so far, even with Miyamoto's talking, which we'll get to later, that touches on stuff kind of similar, it hasn't been flat out denied yet and the stuff seems pretty realistic so uh it starts off with the guys under a strict nda from japan which is obvious i'm mm -hmm. not gonna go into everything by the way just major stuff um it's expected to be officially revealed march 2015 with updates about it in june july which would probably be e3 um the patents which are uh that came out three weeks ago uh, not all of them are related to the NX. Mm. Uh, the NX is a platform not tied to a single device. The Wii U will still be their main platform through 2016. Uh, the NX is a platform where they can develop software for multiple devices at ease. So from home console, por portable smartphone and tablets. Uh, they're trying to attempt what Microsoft's doing with the Xbox One and PC, uh, specifically Windows 10, I guess. Yeah. Uh, Nintendo Network ID is tied to a single device, but will allow you to share details between platforms like the friend list, contents, local co-op games. Thank uh, God. They'll show the portable in 2016, but it's not expected to be released till 2017. The specs are higher than PS Vita, but nothing mind-blowing. Uh, screen resolution is currently 540p, but they're considering 720p. Uh, they're focusing a lot on an anti-piracy system. Big focus on the NX or OS. Uh, they hired people that worked on Android as well as collab between the GameCube OS and Wii U browser people. Um, and they're optimizing the same OS for every NX platform. Mm. The home console can connect to the portable and send its own version of games you buy. Same tech as Wii U to Wii U gamepad streaming to do that. Uh, home console will still... The home will... I'm, okay, this one's confusing, so I'll skip that. Uh, portable will not have its own internal memory, but will have like SD card stuff. 
uh, they, at E3 they approached Capcom, Square Enix, Ubisoft, EA, and they already have dev kits. Dragon Quest, Final Fantasy, Sonic, F-Zero, and Metroid are currently in development. Doesn't know if these are main series or spin-offs. Zelda has a Wii U only title. Zelda is currently a Wii U only title due to high development costs, but they can reconsider. Prices will be low. It's listed 200 to 300 euros. Uh, many of these things will be discussed in future Nintendo Directs, which will have a different host in every market if Nintendo can't find a new CEO by October. A new 3D Mario uh, will be, I think at launch is what they mean by this wording. Retro Ooh. moved their project to the NX, not Wii U. They'll talk about the future Club Nintendo replacement thing. And they're considering making agreements with phone carriers in order to better manage applications like Miiverse and Club Nintendo. So with a lot of this stuff, it's all good news, right? Like, all very good news. Yeah. Um, and some of it's pretty believable, but the part I'm suspicious about is how much info there is. Yep. Exactly. Yeah, um, that's... That seems like a lot of details for one person to know. And I yeah. cut a lot of this. I cut mm -hmm. a lot of stuff, too. Yeah, so there's even more than that. So... Oh, it's a lot, like, and it's very specific. Like, one person knowing all that information this early, I slightly doubt. Mm-hmm. But, you know, it would be good stuff. Um, it's sort of goes with the idea that it could be some sort of hybrid, you know, a lot with a lot of interconnectivity. Well, one uh, of the things I cut kind of, because it was already kind of worded in an earlier thing, but it was uh, how the handheld is still a separate thing. It's just like how the PS4 and Vita connect really easily together. It's I, sort of like that. Okay, yeah, I would like that. Um but they're and both I, uh, called NX, or both branded with NX. Like, maybe it's NX Home and NX Go right. or something. Yeah, that, that would be darn. I think about that, that would be really nice. Um, and it doesn't... <clears throat> i got to wonder, so for the home system, will the handheld be the main controller? You know? I don't think so. It didn't mention okay. anything about controllers, but... Just how it says, like, they aren't required to be connected to each other, I don't think so. So it could be like the, like you mentioned, like the Vita and PS4. You could use the Vita to play a couple of PS4 games as a second controller. Mm -hmm. so the, lack like of, that. the lack of controller knowledge makes me kind of suspicious, too. Uh, I feel like, because I feel like that's a pretty big detail for about a console, you know? Well, I could, like, not have that really decided yet what they're going to do with the controller yeah that's also true um again you know currently i'm going to take it with a grain of salt but it is interesting to have different viewpoints on these things whether or not they're whether or not they're real you know it's interesting to ponder different uh possibilities for the system i think it's kind of interesting that uh it's a leak that's not really going well fake made up leak whatever yeah. Uh, that's not going like either the extreme, this is the best thing ever to be made, mm -hmm. or this is the worst thing Nintendo's ever done in <laughs> Doomed. Because it seems yeah. most console leaks seem to go to one of those two things. Mm -hmm. This, yeah, this seems, this, you know, just, it, it seems, you know, normal. Even um, if it's not, even if this person was just making it up and doesn't have insider information, it actually seems like something Nintendo might be doing. Yeah. Um, it's interesting news. Uh, you know, there, there's not much to say about it. Um, mm. They're all, again, they're all, you know, I've said this a few times, but these are all, would all be good things for the system to have. Um, and good games. You know, that sounds, and <clears throat> as for Zelda potentially being Wii U only, I can also definitely see that happening. Um, because, ah, uh, I don't know if I would describe Twilight Princess as the GameCube's uh, swan song, right? Yeah. Whereas Skyward Sword was, I think most argue, the Wii's swan song. So I can see Zelda Wii, Zelda Wii U being what Skyward Sword was for the Wii. Hmm. Yeah, I can see that. That's probably going to be the case. Mm -hmm. 
And a lot of people are saying, oh, it's going to come to both. And I'm not saying that's impossible. It's still a possibility. Um, but it's currently, you know, I feel like Wii U only would be the most likely situation. Um, if it came to both, you know, of course I would get it for NX. Um, well, maybe, you know, depending on the details. But it seems like it's going to stay Wii U. You know, because I think it would be the only, the first um, <coughs> Nintendo console to not have an original exclusive Zelda game. Okay. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Which yeah. Just kind of a colossal failure. Um, and Hyrule Warriors is not a Zelda game. You you can't argue that. And what about Zelda Battle Quest? Uh no. <laughs> God. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's weird because like the Wii U has a bunch of remakes slash spinoffs, but no real Zelda game yet. You also um, said exclusive, which means you can't count Hyrule Warriors anymore because that's on 3DS. Oh, that's true. That's a good point. So even if you did consider Hyrule Warriors a Zelda game, which it's not, it's technically no longer exclusive. So, yeah, I think uh, the Wii U needs an exclusive real Zelda game. And I think this is going to be it. It would also be the first console since uh, GameCube N64 in Japan to not have a main series Animal Crossing. Oh, that too. Because potentially... They might just skip Wii U and go straight to NX. NX, yeah, that seems like a possibility. Um, with the announcement of Happy, or rather, Amiibo Festival, I think it's highly unlikely that we're going to see a mainline Animal Crossing on Wii U. Mm-hmm. I, was, I was confident that we would before E3, but now that E3 has happened, nope, no hope. So, yeah, it's probably not, not going to happen. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and um, speaking of leaks, this one... <laughs> Coming from within Nintendo itself, mm-hmm. um, <laughs> Miyamoto according, itself, according to Miyamoto, Pikmin Four is almost done. Yeah, and, that's a... well. We'll talk about that then. Go to the other part. So, why why was this not at E three? Um, I can tell you why. Because Nintendo <laughs> said on Twitter they were going to focus on games releasing later this year into early next year. But if it's almost done, wouldn't it release early next year? Well, not necessarily. Mm. Think about how long Majora's Mask 3D was done for. They waited to release it. Or it's just an NX Games, and they don't want to talk yeah, about it. Exactly. I feel like it's very likely that it's an NX launch title. Yeah. I because that. I feel like, number one, <clears throat> um, here's why I think it's not on a handheld. It's definitely not on a regular 3DS, because Miyamoto's basically said in the past, Pikmin doesn't work on there. I don't think it's on new 3DS because I don't think Nintendo would bet on making a new entry in one of their bigger IPs um, an exclusive to the new. That would really limit sales. Um, so I don't think it's on 3DS. And the reason I don't think it's on Wii U is because Miyamoto didn't say it was. I feel like he would be comfortable with saying it was if it was, you know? Mm-hmm. So I feel like a NX launch slash early release is pretty likely. Um... Which is exciting, and it makes me think about the control scheme. You know, is it going to be traditional, or is it going to be something that suits Pikmin well? Um, I would be fine if it's a traditional control scheme, but I sort of hope they update it to work better, because I've always preferred the motion controls for Pikmin. Are you guys in the same boat? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's just very precise, responsive. Um, whereas traditional controls, a bit slower, a bit clunkier. So if they could, you know, improve those standard controls, I would gladly play it on a standard controller. Um, and plus, uh, assuming the home version of NX is significantly more powerful than Wii U, that game would look really gorgeous. <laughs> so yeah, that is my hope. And, uh... We can, we can have more realistic fruit. Oh, yes! <laughs> well, whatever, well, it'll probably be a different yeah, object. Yeah, because Pikmin yeah. changes what you're mm-hmm. getting every game. I forget what Pikmin 1 was, but Ship Pikmin parts. 2 was like... Yeah, Pikmin 2 was like the treasures, and Pikmin 3 was the fruits. So Pikmin 4 would probably be... Uh, I saw someone say Amiibo. <laughs> <laughs> that would be awesome. Buried Amiibo. Yeah. Um, the second part of this interview... This was an interview done back in July, by the way. Which, like, just got released. Yeah. So, uh, uh, he said... Miyamoto says that Galaxy 3 is a possibility, however, not on Wii U. Correct. Um, unfortunately, a lot of people looked at this and said, wow, Pikmin 3 or Galaxy 3 is confirmed. <laughs> That's not true. Um, it's potentially being thought of. And we know it's not for Wii U. So, <clears throat> if anything, it, it'll be uh, not an, I don't think it. Okay, definitely not an NX launch title. 
but maybe like early lifespan annex. I think when Galaxy launched for the Wii, wasn't that a year after we launched? Yeah, like the holiday season after. I can see the same thing happen here. Which is exciting. Mm -hmm. um, Another 3D Mario game. A single player 3D Mario game. Yes, please. I mean, as much as I love 3D, 3D World. 3D World single player? Yeah, as did I. Yeah, it's, um, it's... But it was a game designed with multiplayer in mind. There's no uh, denying that. Exactly. Uh, I mean, with how spacious the stages were. Yeah, but have you, I don't know if you guys watched the Runaway guys, but their recent playthrough that kind of proves multiplayer really doesn't work well in that game. Hmm. The camera has so many issues with multiplayer. Oh, that's true. Yeah, I mean, okay, the levels accommodate players well, but the camera, oh, God, pretty bad. Um, at least I should say the multiplayer camera. It's absolutely fine in single player. Um, but come on, that, that game was obviously made for... Nintendo made it uh, with... In, they had in mind that people were going to play with other people. Oh, yeah, multiplayer was in mind from the... From yeah, the, yeah. I, I would imagine, um, since that was, like, the first... Uh, yeah, uh, and and because they were, at the time they were going at the, for the oh you can play this game with your family market you know? right. Um, that's why yeah. we had that's why we had a lot of, like those um a lot of uh, multiplayer games on Wii U. Mm -hmm. Uh, but despite loving 3D World, you know, Galaxy the the Galaxy One and Two are, are pretty much my favorite games ever. Um. Just bec I just love how designed they are. I love the level design, the music, everything about it just fits together very well for me. And to see that followed up, you know, after letting some fresh ideas brew and having new technology to implement them on, very exciting for me. But I would I would like to see a Galaxy game in HD. So yes, I'll, I'll be done. With I've that. seen I've seen so many like of the dolphin videos of like what would mm. Galaxy look like in HD, you know, and it's gorgeous. Um. And that's just upscaled. You know, imagine what it would look like in HD from scratch. Pretty stuff. So, everyone's, everyone so far been pretty, like, content with that. But I kind of feel I'd prefer a different Mario game. Like, Brand new or Sunshine 2? Not Sunshine 2, but... Brand new. Yeah, like how Sunshine was 64 and then Galaxy was right. Sunshine. Right, right. Like, I'd prefer a step up from that. Yeah, I gotcha. Do you have any ideas about what you would want the theme to be, or do you want to be surprised? Uh, Super we're... Mario Amiibo Festival. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That's already a mode in Mario Party 10. But, um, I, I don't know, for some reason I keep thinking of the Paper Jam game and just thinking of how they can cross it over with something mm. else, even though it's main series. Yeah. Like, maybe they can do, like, Sonic Colors and have 2D and 3D prominent. Oh, that... Yeah, because in Galaxy 1 and 2, there was a very light amount of 2D. Yeah, that, have... those were fun. But to have a more prominent blend, that's an interesting thought. Um, it could be, like, a link between worlds. That you can Like, like revisiting, like, oh. the world of 64, maybe? No, no, like, uh, you walk in 3D and then suddenly it turns into 2D. Oh, interesting. I feel like that would be pretty samey to that idea, but that could be cool. Um, Plus, that's kind of similar to Super Paper Mario, where you yeah, yeah, between oh, two yeah, and yeah. three. That's like that. That's like that concept, yeah. But I don't know. I I enjoy Galaxy Three, and mm -hmm. yeah, I would like to see that in HD. But I just kind of want the next step thing. And like whatever happens, you know. Nintendo puts their best teams on 3D Mario, so it's not like it's going to be bad. We're just going to wait and see. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And speaking Next of up, um... not going to be bad, <laughs> <laughs> hey. Shimagami Tensei Crossfire Emblem, whatever its title is now. It's it's Gine Ibun Roku Sharp Fe. Why'd they change it here? <laughs> I don't know. Like, I don't think it's... that's the official title yet, though. Uh, uh, no, I, it is in Japan, but here... I mean, uh, in Japan, but here, no. At E3, the trailer says that now. Yeah, which is weird. But I don't uh, think it's going to keep it. I don't think it's going to keep it. It'll probably keep the Sharp FE, mm -hmm. if anything. But it, but, yeah. I think it'll be like Shin Megami Tensei Fire Emblem Sharp FE, maybe. I don't know. That's too long. <laughs> yeah, I mean... so Persona so... Sharp FE. Yeah. But it, isn't it more Shin Megami than Persona? Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah, it doesn't have any Persona... Um, <laughs> But anyway, that game is releasing December 26th in Japan. Nice. So we'll get to see pretty soon if it's good. 
We uh, know, obviously, that's not going to be the date here because Christmas isn't that big of a deal in Japan. Yeah. Uh, it's sort of a couple... It's kind of like a Valentine's Day, mm -hmm. um, except you can also hang out with friends. Sounds mm -hmm. like the best day ever. It's kind of just like uh, people of similar ages, either romantic or friendship, like cool party. So just hang out with good people. Sounds fun. So it's not that big of a deal, whereas... Here, Christmas is like, you want your stuff out before then for yeah. holiday shopping and stuff. Right. You want you want it out before Thanksgiving, basically. Mm -hmm. Or Black Friday. Plus, in Canada, which obviously isn't Nintendo's main market, but uh, dis releasing December 26th would basically be like releasing Boxing Day, or that is Boxing Day. Mm. Uh, Black Friday in the U.S., which some I think there's an amiibo actually launching on Black Friday. Uh, Shovel Knight. Yeah. It might be Falco. Shovel Knight. Oh, oh, oh yeah, yeah, Shovel Knight. Yeah, Falco's Shovel launching Knight. same day as Star Fox Zero. Oh okay, so Shovel Knight. Yeah. So. Yeah. So, so this game, Yinebun Roku Sharp Epi, long ass name, but <laughs> um. In Japan, it, there's going to be a, let's say, a pre-order bonus or a purchase bonus. Mm -hmm. You'll get four costumes, DLC costumes. Uh -huh. uh, yeah, based on previous Shin Megami Tensei games. Disgusting. And Atlas games. So one from um, Walter from Shin Megami Tensei 4. That's a 3DS game. Then a costume based on the protagonist of... Shin Megami Tensei, Devil Survivor 2. Then there's actually a Persona DLC. Kind of weird. Um, and this is based off Ray from Persona Q. And then uh, we have a Etrain Odyssey 3 DLC costume based on Princess from that game. So that's just a regular version for the regular version of the game. I hope Alice is developing it uh, like 100% because I I hope that doesn't mean Nintendo's trying to get into that funny pre-order. I mean, I'm sure, I know they did that a little bit with Hyrule Warriors, but I just really don't like that practice. I thought this was uh, a so, guaranteed thing, like every copy came with it. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, purchase bonus. Oh, yeah. okay. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, and, and Alice usually goes for this stuff. Mm. If you buy the game, if you buy the game, you'll probably get, or let's say, for example, the... Most recent Atlas game that's going to come out is Persona 4 Dancing All Night. Right. If you buy the game, you'll get like four DLC costumes. How are they, that's basically DLC? What How are they do. DLC then? That doesn't make sense. Because it doesn't last forever. I think it, the first oh, okay. shipment comes with like... Okay, so it's like limited time. Yeah, yeah. Uh, exactly. Yeah. So it's okay. like to convince you to go buy it launch week instead right. like, of... I, I, I guess, I guess first... that's, that's, that's less dirty than like pre-order. Pre-order yeah. at Amazon to get... Yeah, exactly. For Amazon to get this costume, Best oh, Buy to get this costume. When, when Nintendo did that with High Warriors. That's so stupid. At least you could buy them. Yeah, that's true. But like, I don't know. So stupid. Um, but but weren't they weren't those timed exclusive as well? Were they? I think so. Do you guys remember? How so? I don't remember. I, I think the Ganondorf uh, costume was like timed for like a month, then it was on sale. I think you could. It, wasn't that the one you could get on like Club Nintendo or something? Yeah, Ganondorf uh -huh. is Club Nintendo. Okay, then it was on sale or something. I don't know. Okay, anyway, the other there's an, a collector's version for this uh, Shin Megami Tensei Cross Fire Emblem game. It's called the Fortissimo Edition. It comes with an art book, uh, a soundtrack of the game, and a couple more DLC costumes and a collectible box. That's a cool deal. Yeah. Um, and then, th this uh, this actually surprised me. There's a Wii U bundle in Japan mm. that co that comes with this game, and it actually comes with the uh, collector's edition. So I guess they're hoping that game is pretty big there. Yeah, well, it's probably gonna be big. Aren't both franchises big in Japan? Yeah. Are they? I don't know. Yeah, they are. I know Persona is, and since that's a sub series of Shin Megami Tensei. I, mm -hmm. I assume the main series is, but I'm sure there are instances of like the main a sub series becomes more popular than the main series. Yeah, like, I know of that happening in anime. Yeah, how does, well, how does that Fire happened. How does Fire Emblem sell in Japan? 
Um, Awakening did really well, but that did really well worldwide. Okay, so yeah, appar- Fates is top okay. five right now, isn't it? Okay, wow. Yeah, yeah so apparently when Fates uh, came out in Japan, Persona 4 Dancing All Night also released that same week, and Fire Emblem outsold it. So. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah. Uh, I feel like this game will start really well then. Like, I think Japan. Fates is like top ten worldwide or something. And it's only on Japan. Or launch week, at least. Yeah. Um, and lastly, for uh, this um, piece of news, um, there's actually going to be a live concert based mm-hmm. on the music from oh, this game. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, and that's going to happen on May 15th, 2016, in Japan, of course. <laughs> And and apparently the tickets um are bundled with the Ooh. um with the collector's edition of the game. That's awesome. Yeah, uh-huh. that's pretty neat. And yeah, that's about it for Kine Ibun Roku Sharp yep. FD News. And our, our last story is uh not less of a high note, but not really a surprise either. Um, in an interview with a concept employee, uh. It seems like they're already talking or thinking about like sequels or spinoffs. Um, oh, for my st- number nine. Yeah, yeah, okay. I should specify. Um, and like, stop, just stop. Wasn't concept. Red Ash already supposed to be a spinoff? I think so. And now they have another spinoff. Because it had Beck in it, and Legends yeah. is a spinoff of Mega Man. Yeah, true. So. Um, oh man, they're just milking. Uh, <laughs> The fans for all they're worth, and I think they're done being milked. So, well, Love, technically, hopefully... you didn't say they were gonna kickstart it. That's a good point. But <laughs> who we says know they're going to? But yeah, we know they're going to. It's not even a question. It's 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 Inafune. He's a, we've learned he's a greedy man. Um, sadly, um, so yeah, that's happening. No surprise. Uh, Mighty Number no. Nine hype so low. Uh, I'm only gonna buy it if the re- reviews turn out to be really good, which I highly doubt. I did not back it. <laughs> I backed it, so I'm going to get a copy regardless. Whether you like it or not. Yeah. If it's really bad, you can give it away. <sighs> Man. BK giveaway. Yeah. <laughs> First giveaway, no one enters. Yep. Um. So, yeah. Muddy number nine is a thing, and the concept wants your money. Yay. Don't um, give it to them. Yeah. Dang. That's it for the first half of the episode. We'll be right back. Mario Maker is a great game, and I'm I'm really sleepy. Bye. This week was another Amiibo Garden week. Mm-hmm. This time oh, Wave Five, yeah. This time Wave Five B released. So that was Doctor Mario, Bowser Junior, Ganondorf, Cirrus with Samus. Am I missing another one? Pikmin. Pikmin and Omar. And and, uh, and Mario Thirtieth. Yeah. Okay. So that's Wave Five B. Um released this the same day that Mario Maker released Mm -hmm. and it was actually there was actually a lot of um um of those amiibos at stores it wasn't that bad what store did you go to okay so I went to Target first so how how early how early did you get there okay so let me explain this so I got I went to Target like let's say 30 minutes before they opened Mm-hmm. And I was third in line. Nice. I was third in line, so and, and they had four of each except um Dr. Mario because they had like thirty. Yeah. So I, I was able to get all of them. But uh once Target opened, the guys in the back started running. Oh god. <laughs> oh my god, it was so stupid. Then I I, I ran as, as well because well they started running. Yeah. But the first guy, the guy that was first in line, he couldn't run because he, he was, he was, he went for his kid because oh. his kid was in high school. He, he he was like in, 
he told me he was like in band or something. Mm-hmm. So he had to go like really early so he can make it to the to the amiibo hunt. Mm-hmm. But um, it, it was really bad. Uh, but yeah, we I convinced the that ca- the cashier to let the guy that was first in line check out first. Mm, nice. he, he waited there for like four hours. So nice arms. You're a good guy. Good guy yeah. So arms. so I, I managed to get all of them there. Then after that, I went to Toys R Us. There was a huge line at Toys R Us. Oh boy. Yeah. Over. I think I was like. 9, the, no, I think I was like the thirtieth in line. Oh, nice. Look. Yeah, I, I managed to get uh, Bowser Jr. and a series of Samus there. Oh, and Pikmin and Almar. Apparently got uh, three of them. Yeah, no, then I went to Best Buy to pick up uh, Mario Maker. Then I asked if they had the Amiibos. They told me they did, That apparently no one showed up. <laughs> Whoa, what the heck? <laughs> yeah, no, like no one showed up. Uh, apparently everyone went to Toys R Us. I guess because of exclusives. Uh, that and Best Buy is known for having the least amount of stock on release. And no one oh, wants so you got them. Here they're yeah, actually no, decent. Yeah, no, no one went. So um, I asked and he told me that they had all of them in the back. Nice. And that was like 30 minutes after they opened. Oh, wow, holy crap. Yeah, yeah so Don't I got to the Check there. Best Buy. So I got three there, ex- all of them except the ones they had it except um, Zero Two Samus. Right. <sighs> then I canceled my Mario Maker <laughs> <laughs> pre-order just so I can afford them. Then I went stupidest, back and bought it again. Stupidest decision ever. <laughs> hey, I bought it again. So yeah, you did. So that was good. But yeah, and then and then Amazon had them up um, mm-hmm. like 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 last time. So at at a certain time. You were able to order them. They actually lasted for a while. Nice. Yeah, it wasn't that bad. I think the only, apparently the only uncommon one is the 30th anniversary yeah. Mario. I expected the opposite. Dude, it's Mario. Yeah. And a, and the rare one of this wave is the 30th anniversary cl- uh, modern Mario. Yeah, because it comes with a goddamn Wii U. <laughs> hey, in Canada, exactly. it's separate. Oh, wow. Buy me one. I can't. Walmart didn't put any stock out yesterday and said, we don't know when we'll stock them. We'll stock them eventually. Oh. If you can, if you can get me one, if you can get me one, I'll send you a Wii Fit trainer. <laughs> Tempting offer. But mm. my dank Mebo hunting. So, I had class that day mm. at from 1 to 150. And my brother also had school that day because, you know, he's in high school. So, what we were originally going to do was he was going to ditch school and go to oh. Toys R Us. Oh, um, however, then he's part of this, like, Amiibo Canada group. And um, someone posted there that they're, like, a person who does deliveries for Toys R Us. And their Amiibo stuff had, like... I think it was over 60 Bowser Juniors nice. and like 15 plus of everyone else. So we decided to just go after class. So I, there's a mall near my school. It's the wrong mall though. But I walked down there to meet him. And we decided to just go to EB Games. They're normally really bad stock though. But it was like one, almost two, probably after two actually, p.m., and they still had Ganondorf, Zero Suit Samus, and Olimar. Nice. Then we went over to the other mall with Toys R Us, and they had every single Amiibo. Am I the, am I the only one who's surprised that <laughs> Pixel, Pixel Mario is uncommon? Um, uh, I'm surprised. I thought I thought it was going to be common. Yeah, same. I'm... So that's why I, 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 I was going to skip that one, but then I saw how fast it was selling out on like, like Walmart.com. I, uh, on my slit, so I, bought one. I was kind of expecting it because Gold and Silver Mario... Silver was at launch common, but neither are really all that common anymore. Yeah. Uh, there's actually a bunch of um, Silver Marios here. 
Oh. Luckily, I'm not too upset about the functionality anymore since Game Explained found out. Did you see his video? Yeah. How to like make it the CRT TV effect without you the. Can't have the mustache though. Ah, true. But like thirteen dollars for mustaches, <laughs> really. Um, he's a cool figure. If you're not into amiibo, oh, yeah, the, the and figure you like awesome. Mario, is awesome. Yeah. I don't yeah. Like it still. Uh, it actually looks really good in person. Um, yeah, I saw it. the Toys R Us guy was trying to sell it to me. <laughs> I was all like, I just want Bowser Jr. in the Mario Maker game. And then he's like, you sure you don't want you the sure. Mario Amiibo? Look at it, it looks pretty cool. I'm like, eh, I don't really like the pixely 3D thing it has. And he's like, but it's retro. But you can make a custom Wario <laughs> Amiibo with that. Have you seen that one yeah. online? It looks so cool. So I made a custom Wario of it? Yeah. Yeah. It's cool. Instead of thirtieth unit on the on the pipe of the amiibo, it says Mario's thirtieth anniversary. Uh-huh. Uh He changed it to Wario's twenty eighth anniversary, <laughs> and like and like he crossed the M and just put a, a, a W. Oh, that's awesome! Yeah, that's it looks pretty cool. Wario would do. Yeah, it's similar similar like um when you go into the Mario Maker um home home mm-hmm. screen if you press the w. M yeah. yeah. Makes a W. Oh, wow. Yeah. So, I gotta say, Amiibo, Amiibo hunting this time was really easy. And next wave, the Retro 3 pack is the only thing. Oh, yeah. uh, but that's that's probably gonna be, like, really common. I that's think. gonna be I think, easy to get. Well, the... Yeah, even if you didn't pre-order it. I don't it, remember if I mentioned it on the podcast, but when I was at EB Games buying a uh, points card for Runbow, that was, like, a week after that was just before the game launched and they still had pre-orders for that three pack it seems like they're gonna have so many yeah yeah i i went to gamestop yesterday to kill some time um and they 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 told me that i could pre-order the the three pack and it's still up so wow And, and they also told me they have the they sold out of the new the animal crossing new 3ds Bundle. Really? But yeah, but but they have like they have like ten of the Zelda ones oh. up the order. Right. So that's probably gonna be common. It, not like the Majora's Mask. Yes. God. That was hard to find. Yeah. Yeah. Good, but yeah, good job, Mario. Mario. <laughs> good job, Nintendo. <laughs> <laughs> and Mario. Mm-hmm. You too. You have a good game, Mario. Just came out. Yeah. Um, Before we get to that, though. Koro Koro released last night. Well, leaked last night. So uh, we would have missed this if we had recorded yesterday. But I know. Um, anyway, like they promised, there was a big reveal. And that reveal is Zygarde has... Transformer. Yeah, he has <laughs> Zygarde Core, which is that little blob thing. Uh, Zygarde, I think it's 20%, which is this weird dog thing. Zygarde fifty percent, which is what's in the X and Y already, and Zygarde a hundred percent, which is uh, I called it a transformer. I've seen other people say it's a Gundam. Yeah, or or the best Cell, Cell from Dra- Dragon Ball Z. Yeah, <laughs> like yeah, it's this perfect form. So uh, yeah, and that's the silhouette that was in the movie preview. So I don't know the why the dog. Was never shown off beforehand, but yeah, the rest. He of looks it. cool. So, so the blob is Sigard. Yeah, there were some fan theories. The cell. Kind of expecting that. So, does this pretty much confirm Pokemon Z as a game? Uh, uh, well, the anime also got its name changed. I think it's yeah. actually starting late October to Pokemon X, Y, y and Z. So, I feel like that just confirms it. I don't know. Uh, I really, I don't know. I'm starting to doubt that there's going to be another Pokemon game because of some announcements that we're going to talk about later on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, although a, a new, a third version of X and Y would probably make sense. Well, the game we're going to talk about later is free. It has microtransactions, but it's still free. And Game Freak's not actually doing anything with it. Yes. But no, but did you did you watch the conference? Yeah. Well, 
saw mm-hmm. a recap, not the full conference. Yeah, I, I watched all of it. He, he, they, they were talking about some uh, like core Pokemon games. So does it have subtitles? Uh, it's in English, actually. Oh, oh. they had a translator. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, so so you can watch it. Um, I I think I think what's most interesting about these is about these like leaks is the Greninja. Oh, the Greninja. Um, a lot of. So first off, everyone was freaking out because that's like a slightly different Greninja, but someone translated and it mentioned that specifically Ash is Greninja. Uh-huh. So people are now coming to the conclusion it's probably like how in the Unova arc, Ash's Crocodile wore sunglasses, whereas that wasn't possible in the game. Uh, and there's been other t- the spiky-eared Pichu that was a special event, but it's not actually possible to get in the games anymore. So people are ex- now thinking it's just going to be that because really it's just Greninja wearing Ash's hat and having Ash's hair. Ash's hat. Yeah. Where's his hat? It's the weird red coloration on his head. It's not. It's not a hat. It's, he just painted it. It's the same um, coloring as his hat. Okay, yeah, but it's not his hat. Then, then on his, um, like his ears, uh, it's like Ash's hair. Yeah, it looks like it. Oh, and he, oh, and he even has those, um, those like red stripes. So it's pretty much just Ash as a Greninja. <laughs> so it's what if Ash transforms into a Greninja? <laughs> oh, it's probably just gonna be an anime thing. Maybe yeah. a special event like the Pichu from the Arceus movie. But yeah. by the way, his Noibat is gonna evolve, and Serena's gonna get an Eevee. But she already has an Eevee. Why are some people freaking out that she was holding an Eevee? She has an Eevee. I haven't watched the show at all, so. I don't even watch it. I just go to Cerebi every, like, when I have time on Thursdays and just watch the pictures of the new episode. <laughs> just go through them. Because <laughs> I don't want to watch the whole episode. But anyway. that would be a waste of my time. Um, the thing we were talking about earlier, Pokemon is getting a smartphone game. But it's yes. not Ooh. like some weird Pokemon Shuffle. Pikachu camp or 3DS port. <laughs> Or a place to watch random anime episodes, not even all of them. My confusion about this, is it related to DNA in any way? No, they've already nope. confirmed. Nope. Okay, it's good. It's made by, uh, what's the company called? Uh, hold on, I, I forget what they're called, but... You should go made... to my article that I wrote. No, I'm going to the article that's linked. Ooh, when wow. I linked that, wow. I didn't actually notice Blaze Kick had posted. Because... Wow, dude, I stayed up all night to do that. <laughs> wow. So, uh... It... Is with uh, Neotanic Labs. Uh, they were a startup company from Google, but they're now independent. Nintendo's behind this game. It was act- Pokemon companies as well. Yeah, Pokemon company. Well, they have to be behind it, or it wouldn't be possible. Um, it was started two years ago. Satoru Iwata was involved. I think Miyamoto is too, right? Uh, yeah, Miyamoto. And Junichi Masuda, who is Game Freak employees, involved too. And uh, something we should actually probably say, this is called Pokemon Go. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> and oh, it's yeah. Uh, releasing 2016 on, I think, just Android and iOS. If you have yeah, a Windows iOS, phone, but... you're uh, screwed. Mm-hmm. And what, most importantly, it's an augmented reality MMO. Basically. Yeah. Yeah. Um... The trailer like, was a little bit confusing because a lot of it was CG. Um, but at the end, there was some gameplay, and it looked a lot like the uh, XY art style. Uh, what it's called, Gen 6. Um, but I guess it has some sort of augmented reality capability. Kind yeah, of so... like that uh, Google Maps prank two years mm-hmm. ago. But like yeah. fully fledged. And real or, life. Yeah. yeah. Or um, actually, it's actually inspired by Ingress. So that's yeah, one of the yeah, games just, that Niantic sure developed. If, uh, people watching knew what Ingress was, but Ingress has like it's an AR MMO. Yeah. Like, so th- this would probably like in the trailer they kind of showed everyone in Times Square just stopping dead to catch Mewtwo, which <laughs> is never gonna happen. But you never know. You never know. Every single person 
I could see an event happening in Times Square, but not every single person just stopping, pulling out their phone, and fighting Mewtwo. <laughs> now, I'm, I looking wonder... up, I'm looking up Ingress, and it, it doesn't exactly look like, look like augmented reality. Unless I'm not looking for the right thing. Like, I'm looking on images, and it look, I see a lot of pictures of maps, but I don't see augmented reality. Uh, I think it's more of like a geocache thing. Okay, got it. I don't know if... Uh, this article I have doesn't actually mention augmented reality, but I don't know if the... It is augmented reality. Th ...thing did, because there's been kind of, like, weird, conflicting things about it. Oh, mm. they, they said augmented reality. During the conference? Yeah. Mm. Uh, I think it was Masuda that was, um... Oh, here, right here, this... Introducing the, the developer from Yantax. So you said... They kind of, you said that they implied there wouldn't be future Pokemon games. Masuda's thinking about how it will connect with future Pokemon games. So by that, I think he more means like the Pokemon Walker with uh, Heart Gold Soul Silver, or Dream World with Black and White. No, they, they didn't imply it. They they were just they just said that there's going to be uh, another Pokemon game, but uh, they. Okay, I don't know how to explain this. So people are also getting behind the fact that Miyamoto uh, is behind this game saying it's really fun. So people are saying that confirms it's going to be good. Miyamoto is behind Sticker Star saying it was really fun. No, he, he was <laughs> he was behind the Wii Music. Yeah. Remember that. Wii Fit. I don't think uh, he actually said anything, but he made Wii Fit. A Wii Fit's awesome. Eh, well, the first really one... Like kind of started milking that until it failed. Oh, yeah, they milked the heck out of it, but I don't think Miyamoto was responsible for that milking. <laughs> so, what do you guys think of um, Pokemon I'm, Go? I'm excited, even if the trailer was a bit misleading. Um, well, to be fair, X and Y's reveal trailer was kind of like this, too. Like, yeah, it was but super CG. And... In general, I don't see the point of it, you know, have it being CG. Like, I'm very excited for the game. The concept is cool. I just want to see it in action. We saw about two seconds of it in action. Uh, I agree. I, I mean, it seems, like, even though it has nothing to do with DNA, it's really Nintendo's first mobile, mobile game, game since oh. Iwata well, was involved. Miyamoto seems to, to be involved. It's not going to be the first one to release, because didn't they say they're releasing one this year with DNA? Yeah. So it's the first announced. Well, yeah, I just mean, like, yeah, the, the first, first like, thing we're really seeing of what they're doing with mobile. Um, I think yeah. the watch thing is pretty cool. Like the what do they call it? like Pokemon Go Pro or something that would like plus. plus yeah. Um, it's gonna I compete with a... the Apple Watch. Yeah, <laughs> all it does is flash if there's a Pokemon yeah. near you. They should just develop an app for the op Apple Watch. Oh yeah, they should. They'll let you do that. Problem is, then why would you buy the Pokemon Go the Plus? Thingy. Yeah. But if you have an Apple Watch, you could do that. <laughs> If you don't, just buy that stupid um, accessory. Looks it does ugly. look a little bit silly. Yeah, I'm not going to um, wear but it. The design is kind of cool, how it's like one of those waypoint markers, but like shaped, like morphed into a Pokeball, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, well, as for me, um, I like the concept. I just want to see it in action. Yeah, Yeah, I'm with you there. Um, I'm excited for the possibilities, you know? Mm -hmm. and, and like, this is going to be free to play by the way yeah and looking at the screenshots like I'm just kinda pro worried. promising stuff I'm just kind of worried because I live in sort of a smaller area mm -hmm. so I'm hoping they'll at least not make like the better Pokemon exclusive to like Vancouver because mm. it's kind of expensive for me to get to Vancouver so if, let's say if your favorite Pokemon, I don't know who, which Pokemon that is, is in Vancouver, are you willing to go all the way over there just to catch it? No. So if Pikachu is in the Pokemon Center in Japan, you're not going to go there? Uh, I don't like Pikachu, and I have a feeling they're not going to make Pokemon exclusive yeah. to countries. <laughs> I'll, be, I'll be awful. Uh... Well, what if you could trade online? <laughs> We as far as we're, as far as we're aware, the trading's only local, though. Yeah. 
which is I, I, I like that I like that basically they want you to go outside yeah. <laughs> I mean I really like this concept like I can't wait I for people to like walk into highways looking at their phone oh, to try God. to catch Pokemon <laughs> um <laughs> yeah. While I have been speaking a little bit doubtfully about the reveal trailer itself, the concept I'm in love with, um, yeah. being like, because a lot of kids in my like, kids my age, uh, you know, high schoolers slash college students, um, or at least I'll say because I'm not in college, I'm in high school, love checking out new new popular iPhone games, and like them getting reconnected with a childhood game via an app could be really uh, compelling for them. Plus the fact that it'll be free to play means anyone can try it. It's genius. I feel like it's gonna do really well. So they did say there's microtransactions. Yeah. That's true. Does anyone have any guesses? I'm guessing it's just Pokeballs because yep, we guessed. saw like yeah. they had a selection Great between balls, Pokeball, Ultra Great Ball, Ball Ultra. M- yeah. My guess: one dollar for a Master Ball. Hundred. Really bucks. think it's one dollar? Looking at Shuffles microtransactions. Mm, but. Man, that, you, but Nintendo's not involved with... I mean, Nintendo didn't develop Shuffle, right? Or did they? Uh, no. no, I don't think Nintendo has anything to so, do I think since Nintendo's involved with this, they're going to try to not be greedy. And I think the pricing will be reasonable. Maybe a dollar will be different, but like, I don't think they're going to charge for basic Pokeballs. What if they charge for uh, Repels? Oh, Why God. would you want Repels? Yeah, uh, tr- you have to trigger hey. the battle. That would hey, be a waste you- of money. May you want them that that way your your um what is it called if, again? If you, if Pokemon you repel- Go Plus stop flashing. If you want repels, take off, turn off your phone, and throw away your Pokemon to go plus. That's that's the <laughs> secret, that's the secret code to get repels. Or turn off GPS on your phone by since way, it requires by, that. By the way, uh, so if let's say I I don't know how it would work, but let's say um we're in the same location and there's a Pikachu right there. Ah, huh? okay. Can you like who catches it first? Yeah. Um, or... Going by ingress, when there's multiple people in an area, they team up and both get it. Okay, oh, cool. so so if I have a master ball, that's gonna be unfair. <laughs> <laughs> You're assuming a master ball is gonna be in though. Yeah, that was just my guesswork. Exactly. Um, I think so... what it might be is regular pokeballs. You maybe get like thirty, and then they refill. So they're kind of like the stamina meter. Also, and then um, great balls and ultra are both paid for. Are you guys as happy as I am about it being only Gen One Pokemon? I'm not a Gen Oneer, but I'm glad that they're going back to basics in a way. It's not. It's more than Gen One. I heard other was in the trailer. Oh, I be. He's on the phone screen, so most people miss him. Got it. But he's the only non-Gen One. So maybe one and two. Who knows? I'm fine with that. I, I kind of. What I'd prefer is they start with Gen 1 and then slowly add more. Oh, yeah. Like, roll it out. Like By the expansion so you can get Gen 2. Oh, God, Well, no. even if it's not... Like, <laughs> just... Like, Love Live constantly adds new cards and stuff, so... Just... If... Because 700 Pokemon just seems way too much at the too start. Too much, yeah. Maybe they'll have, like, a notification, like, a new Pokemon <laughs> has entered the wild or something. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Or they could even, like... I don't know how they're planning on distributing the Pokemon, but maybe at the start have, like, Machoke exclusive somewhere, mm-hmm. Growlithe exclusive somewhere, but then they rotate around. Oh, yeah, true. So, like, uh, for a month or something, Growlithe can only be found in, say, Midwest U.S., and Machoke can only be found uh, uh, South Japan. But, oh, my God, that would be so awful. No, please no. <laughs> but then they rotate eventually, because then that would solve the small town area problem. Oh yeah. my god, there, there's a lot of things they can do with this. Yeah, well, it's it, it's, ex- it's an exciting concept. It's, a, it's exciting it's and scary. scary. There's a yeah, beta exactly. test, I believe, only confirmed for Japan right now, uh, later this year. So hopefully we'll hear. Yeah, there it goes. And Nintendo UK asked Miyamoto. A bunch of um, quality questions. Most of them were like popular Mario myths, things mm-hmm. such as I didn't think it was a myth. I thought this came from Nintendo themselves. But is it true that Mario's named after Noa's landlord, Mario Seagal? Uh, yeah, I thought that was already confirmed. Yeah, I was pretty sure that actually came from Nintendo. Mm-hmm. 
but uh, he confirmed that yes, um, booze are not dead bombs, which I've actually I, never, I never heard. heard. I never heard that before. Yeah. Mario that. three is just a stage play. I think it's cool. Um, and the big thing was <laughs> they asked if he knew who Bowser Jr.'s mom was. He pointed at himself with his middle finger. Yeah, so uh, he is Bowser Jr.'s mom, which, of yep. course, you yep. can imagine fan art. Yeah, Miyamoto is the scale he confirmed. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, but I, I... Do you guys think that was a misunderstanding? Or do you think he was being funny? Uh, he was just... I think he was being funny. Yeah, he was just, just joking. Because, as uh, someone pointed out, uh, at the Nintendo Treehouse stuff, mm-hmm. when Miyamoto's on there, they don't actually translate the questions asking to Miyamoto, but mm-hmm. he answers in Japanese. Got so, it. So, he, some, so he's able to tell. He's able to so, understand English. Yeah, some people think he knows English, but isn't very confident in speaking um, it. Got it. Yeah, actually, actually, I listened to this podcast, and uh, I think Bill Trainer w- was on. And he said so himself that oh. that he he understands English, so he usually um, just answers in Japanese. It's like me with that's like me with Spanish. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, that makes sense. Yep. Um, but yeah, Bowser and Miyamoto are uh, lovers. OTP. OTP. Yeah. <laughs> <O-T-P. laughs> don't go to DeviantArt, please. Oh but yeah, I don't think <laughs> I, I don't think anyone saw Wait, this one worry. coming. Yeah. Um, so that's kind of interesting. Mm-hmm. Super interesting. And I guess we'll use that to segue. Yeah. To, uh... Uh, we already talked a little bit about Mario Maker, and we'll yeah. find we go deeper into it. Um, I guess we can talk about the levels we made and played together. Should uh, we share our levels? Ooh, yeah, that's a good plan. Uh, let me. I'm going to my, pull up my code real quick. Let's just um, put them in the description because I don't have okay, my codes. Okay, smart. Yeah, okay. Or like the video uh, pop-up on the annotation something we'll figure it out yeah description so if, probably easiest. if you're watching on blaze kick it will be or listening on blaze kick it will be in the text mm-hmm. uh if you're wa- watching on listening YouTube. on itunes i guess find it on youtube no yeah. no if, if you're listening to on, on on itunes it's just gonna be on the description for the episode okay and youtube will pr- it'll be in the description Vi- and video will probably put a pop maybe up. maybe yeah. it- and we'll okay. I, I think we're probably uh, gonna share them on on our Twitter um, Blazekick account. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we already did. Well, I did share mine at least. Um, on Blazekick. Oh no, no, sorry. I meant on. Okay, you mean on Blazekick. Yeah, yeah. Uh, got it. Let's yeah. share on Blazekick. Cool. Have, and make a poll. Which so one's the best? best? Yeah. <laughs> so I believe. Nice. That's I've cool. Made three arms has two. Noah has two. I have, I have one. three. I have three. Oh, okay. So mm-hmm. no one make two more. Okay, well. We all, all each have three. You decide which one's best. One of mine is terrible. Should we have it where they vote for one of our three, and then each of ours that's the best, they vote which out of us has sure. the best level? Yeah, let's make this a competition. A tournament, yeah. Okay, so let, let's... So Maybe I'll <sighs> actually set up a Google Doc thing to vote. Yeah. And I'll okay, have... Uh... I don't know how long... How to do this though. Oh whatever. Um just Okay. Stay right, up, let's keep checking let's our make t- Yeah, let's make this uh one of those Twitter avatar bets. <laughs> oh god, no please no. <laughs> <laughs> it's just be for fun. Come I don't want to do that again. Hey, but Everyone Noah, you me, have the advantage. Asking me why the hell do you have an anime avatar? You're making your two <laughs> stages after. Yeah. Me and Arms already made them so we don't get to make good stages. Hey, that's true. But uh, I don't know, man. <laughs> do it do it uh, okay how about for two okay can we make it less than a week like it's, yeah three, two like days three, two, two, two days three days, days. Yeah, alright yeah that's fine three days fine okay I'm in <laughs> okay so I guess what we'll do is uh, have maybe a google doc or a or uh, what do you call it? what's the thing where you vote straw poll uh, no cause that would mean three what do you, how so? What are you talking about? Because we'd need to have it so you can vote. Weren't we doing it so we vote Noah's best, my best, Arm's best, and then... Yeah, because yeah, we're going to have three different straw polls. Well, Google Doc, I can just make them all the same thing. 
Just oh, yeah, would it be a Google Doc that, like, anyone... It's will... called a Google survey thing. I oh, you can do that? Okay, part cool. Part of Google Doc. All right. Okay. So I'll just make that, and then when we find the winner, I don't know, after, like, a week, maybe, five mm -hmm. days. However long yeah. it takes. Yeah. So, so they can only vote on the... Okay, we can make more levels, but we're only going to submit the first three that yeah, we've made. Uh, yeah. the first three. The first three. The first three will all have codes in the description. You play them. And then the poll will be in the description, too. So you vote there. On which okay. ones. Which one you thought my best. Which one Noah best. Which one Norm's best. Then those three will have, like, a versus. Ooh, it's going to be awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Can't wait. <laughs> Let's talk about Mario Maker. Cause yes. It's an awesome game. It's an awesome game. I love it. Um, you know, again, I already talked about the online level diversity earlier. And some people's uh, whiny excuse to not get it is, I don't think the levels will be good enough. You can rank by star rating. Calm down. You can see which levels are the best and play only those ones. It's fine. You don't have to play the bad ones. It's your choice. Yeah. I, I'm honestly more interested in playing the levels that my friends make. Mm -hmm. I agree. I think that's really interesting. So you can, yeah. like, give feedback. There's just something fun about, like, knowing your friend made it, you know? Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. Uh, I'll, okay, I'll, I'll play a couple of levels, uh, the top-ranked levels, but uh, like I mentioned earlier, they're <laughs> mostly the same. And actually, what's fun, um, yeah, top-ranked levels is not as interesting as I thought it would be, but featured levels, that's a good place to look. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Although I, I did find one. As well as up and One that I really like, yeah. I found one that I really like on the under... Um, yeah, honestly, top rated is not Rat the best place Sarge. to look for. Top rated is not the best place to look for levels. Go on featured and up and coming. Yeah. Um, and Twitter. <laughs> Twitter. And Meverse. Or and Meverse. R slash Mario Maker. Oh, yeah, that too. Um, and or I had another kick. thing I was gonna say. Yep. <laughs> um, I had another thing I was gonna say. Uh, and I think it's slipped me, it slipped my mind. Uh, but yeah, let me think. I mean, the game's cool. <laughs> I still have um, the unlocking. <laughs> You just don't like it? Yeah, I wish. I don't I don't like it either because it's it's, it's it's unclear. Yeah, like the nine day thing is still there and clear, but they kind of patched it so there's a way to get it quicker, right. but no one really seems to know exactly what yeah. you do. It just seems to randomly like happen. Once once somebody discovers the exact method, I won't mind it. But like because just having to I, Like I, at this point I'm I, I got so frustrated with it earlier that I was considering actually time traveling. I did, because I just mm -hmm. kind of started getting bored with uh, just Super Mario Bros., New Super Mario Bros., <laughs> right. Overworld, and like, Underworld. And, like, I, I don't even want everything right at once. I just want the second row, you know? I just wanted uh, underwater stuff. You That's still it. don't have the second row? No. <laughs> so you don't have don't the second get it. Power? I don't know how to get it, No. Make, okay, so just make a level. Make a long level. All right. Add stuff to it. At least long level play around with it. Try it out. At least if All you right. have an amiibo, you can unlock the amiibo mushroom and propeller mushroom. Early. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Propeller mushroom? How do you unlock that? Yeah, because it's in it, the it's New Super Mario Bros. version of the amiibo Tanuki really? Leaf and Cape. Oh. Cape, yeah. Uh, I. I... You need an amiibo for that? It was it was on when when I. No, it's just if you it, scan an amiibo, yeah, you automatically you get one. the amiibo mushroom. You'll get it. You'll get it yeah, you'll oh, get it fully. Okay, okay. You could even, just wait till day two. Yeah, even if oh, you only no. have the first set, you can get it. Okay. Um, that's I guess how Connor made his uh, one flying level dank. <laughs> <laughs> In before that wins. Oh God. <laughs> Mine's are gonna. Be... I made I made a flappy bird. Plums. You did. It, it was pretty good. Um. My only criticism were the Red Bullet Bills, uh, and I get that was for the challenge, but... Uh, yeah. Why? Uh, they don't they I mean, really it, bother you? No, not that much, but it just... It feels slightly cheap, since they're homing. Like, if it was the regular Bullet Bills, I wouldn't mind. You, you know, I tried the regular ones, and it actually made it harder. Really? Yeah, yeah, because I think that, I think I put, like, three uh, three of those um, bullet uh, cannons. I put, like, put two. Yeah, but it's, it was still hard because mm -hmm. if if it, if it was just the normal ones, they would have just gone through the pipes, and would probably oh, hit you. Can, can the red ones not go through the pipes? Uh, they can, but they they follow you around. Yeah, duh. That makes it harder. <laughs> Every time I tested this level out, um, you know the last uh, the last um obstacle, yeah. the pipe. The last stretch. It's so difficult. Yeah, 
You just have to swim through. <laughs> you know? Every every time I swam through, I would hit the bullet bills. Yeah. If you hit them, they die. Mm. So it wasn't that hard. I, I thought it made it easier. I thought it was like my easiest level. But apparently the newest one is really easy. Arms keeps making levels he thinks are easy that are actually really hard. But they're not oh. really hard. I beat all okay, of them. Good. Yeah, I beat all of them. Okay, good. I mean, and the the only one, like, the only bad thing about the spikes one is the dudes that fly and shoot the spikes. If it weren't for them, that level would be super easy. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, like, I, it, it's not super difficult. Don't worry about it. I, I, I think, I, I, think I, I went overboard. Just a uh, little on bit. The on the last stretch. Yeah. One yeah, thing. The last half. I kind That's of... one of those stretches where you just have to take the hit and run through. Yeah. That, that, that was my, that was what came to mind. Mm-hmm. Plus, I added the SAR before the pipe, after yeah. the pipe. That way, you can just run through it. Was that in an invisible block? Is that why I couldn't find it? No, it, you know, you know. after the pipe, there's like two oh. question marks. I guess, and I, just did, top, I guess I just didn't pay attention to it. <laughs> yeah, and then on top, there's a, there's normal blocks on mm. it. Like three normal blocks is the middle one. Like you were uh, telling them how to solve one of our mistakes. <laughs> but one oh, yeah. thing I wish was in uh, Super Mario Maker is... So, as uh, Andre from Game Explain said, you're always going to have an easier time with your level than other people. Yeah. So oh, yeah. I think I know what you're going to say. I can get my brother beside to, like, come down and play test my level for me. But, like, if I didn't have that, I don't know if either of you have someone who can play test. I thing is, I don't. I, are you saying you want, like, you're saying you want online play testing? Uh, specifically send it to friends. So it's mm. not actually available for searching, Got it. but if yeah. your friend... Like... Yeah, I, I agree completely, because... I was wondering if you could do that. At least, like, put them on private or something. In my house, I have my mom and dad, who aren't exactly excellent at video games, mm. and my, uh, how old is she? My 13-year-old sister, who's also not excellent at video games. My only opportunity is to have one of my friends come over, which obviously they're not going to be able to be over all the time. Hey, I made um, a Mario level. Run over, please. Yeah, right? Um, so, playtesting is really fun, but it's in, it's hard to set up. Mm. Online playtesting with friends would be awesome. I would love that feature. And they're, like, required to leave a comment or something, you know? Or add a voice chat. Oh, yeah, that would be cool. <laughs> I, That's never going to happen, though. Uh, the <laughs> one other thing, I, even though this is kind of solved... I wish there was an easier way to find friends levels at first. Yes. Once you... you you have to do the code at first, which is inconvenient, but luckily we sort of discovered that once you do the code, you can follow a friend. And then you easily have access to their levels. Mm-hmm. However, I was experiencing something weird with Arms' third level, the underground one. Mm-hmm. Um You can find after it. He, yeah, after he uploaded yeah. I clicked, I clicked the following thing, it wasn't there, so I had to type yeah. in I, I, I had that problem with your level. I was trying to find it. I, I ended up I ended up typing the code. It's so weird. So, Maybe it like takes a few minutes to Yeah. So I wish there was like just a friends tab and exactly. it just listed and, like, like levels and your you friends can just, made. And you can just follow them. Yeah. Yeah. I have a question for you guys. Yeah. when you guys started playing, was it a bit overwhelming? No. No. Actually, to I, I, level? I, was over, I was overwhelmed for thirty seconds. Well, I like, what I did was something. just started dragging like random stuff on. And eventually started like playing it to see if it was possible. And when I, can I found an the... possible spot, I'd fix it. I can tell you about the development of my level. Um, so I relied heavily on the bl- blueprint of the tutorial. If you couldn't tell, mm-hmm. there were some parts that were very similar, like where you have to knock the shell down yeah. and it kills all the Goomba stacks. But there were definitely different parts too. Um, so I relied on that, and I sort of deconstructed, like, for instance, the blocks at the beginning. I'm like, you know what? No, I don't want these. Not original. So I made my own block set. I made a, the Goomba 4 stack, and then I'm like, I want... And there were two pipes. I'm like, what can I do? I made one taller. I made a challenge. Jump to the top. It's fun. And from there, the ideas just kind of flowed. Yeah. yeah. I think you, if you have something to help get started, even if you're just... What you do first is, like, take either a level from online or one of the 10 Mario... And what, what's actually cool, I think sometimes with the title screen, it'll, like, give you a really blank level. Yeah. Like, a very basic level. So if you just start, like, playing around with that, or, mm-hmm. like, me just randomly throwing things in and trying to make them work, right. which is how my Olimar's Adventure stage came. Yeah. yeah, the hardest part is getting, like, an outline. 
Yeah. Yep, exactly. So it's I was like, overwhelmed. It's like writing. <laughs> yeah, I was really overwhelmed. No, arms. Imagine having all the tools. Yeah, ex yeah, I know, I know. But the thing is that, um, like, I think it happened just like Connor's um experience with the game at first. I just started moving things around. Mm -hmm. And, and like, I event eventually something came to mind, yep. and I started making a yep. level. So once you get the ideas, the ideas flow. The beginning is always a little tough, right? Yeah. Um, I think that's kind of to be expected, but in retrospective, it makes me glad everything is not available right away. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm exactly. be glad it's not available right away. I just wish but it was I, but easier it's, it's to get Easier stuff. to unlock, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> I, wish there was like a I wish there was a secret code you could input to, like, advance a day, or, you know? Or, like, even say... This might actually be how you get the stuff, but I'm not sure if you've used every single thing that is currently available, including all the themes, the game yeah. sets, that it maybe says, you're ready to move on. Would you like to move on or continue with how you are? And then if you say continue, it gives you an option in the menu or something to upgrade. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to spend another, like, about another hour building tonight, and if I don't get that shipment, I'm, I'm, I'm time-traveling. Like, I've had it. <laughs> well, you should get it from the day two thing by then. How so? Oh. What do you mean? Well, didn't you start playing 24 hours ago? No, I started today. Oh, okay. Yeah, because ye yesterday I was super busy. I only started playing this morning. Um, like I said, m make a make a really long level. Yeah, That's no, not with everything. And should I do it like with the theme I have it? Because like the only level, the only level I've made made has been in SMB one Overworld. Should I do like Underground new? Um, like... sure. I I barely made my <laughs> Underground level. That was like the first time I made it, and I'm already on the fourth on um, how, delivery. Do you remember how many levels you made when the first set got delivered? Like, uh, the first set that was when I was making my first level. Really? Holy crap! Maybe yeah, my first level's just too small. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I made it, like, really long. Then I was messing around with it. It, it took me, like, an hour to make it. Wow, so, so only one level, and you got it. Yeah. So I just that... guess, I just gotta, I'm going to make a long level with a bunch of stuff. I guess that's the key. The other mm -hmm. issue I had that I forgot until you guys brought up long levels is lack of checkpoints. Yes. It's... Yes. I um, I, a lot of people are complaining about no slopes, and that's not a big deal to me, honestly. But checkpoints I could use. My problem with no checkpoints is the long levels just get, like, mm -hmm. tedious really when... Tedious. Yeah, when you die. Especially if it's, like, not even something hard you died at. You just, like, yeah missed a jump or something. Right, like, made a stupid mistake. So, um, they... I agree. <laughs> Luckily, it seems like that could something they could implement pretty easily with either an update or a DLC. It's... If it was, like, a $2 upgrade, $5, I would buy it. <laughs> or more tools. More tools, totally pretty cool. checkpoints. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, cool. uh, I'm I'm done with that. I'll I'll buy it. Yeah, I'm I'm having a lot of fun making those. Oh yeah, so much. Which I is mean... which is kind of weird because I I thought that I was see just it's so be funny playing the levels that this be, is what were I being this made. is what I told yeah. everyone. Everyone was like, oh, I'm not gonna want to make levels. And what I'd heard about the game from so many previews is that they, if you pardon the expression, gamified the creation. So like, it's fun for anyone. And like, I. The fact that they managed to pull that off is so impressive to me. Yeah. Like, make creating fun. It's like so, Legos. <laughs> yeah. You could, yeah, you could say that. Um, so, let's. I'm going to compare it with Little Big Planet because that's the only game I know that you can create your own levels. <clears throat> Little Big Planet is. Little Big Planet is like really overwhelming. Yeah. Oh God, is really it really overwhelming? Yeah, oh, the amount God. of depth is huge, and like. No, but they throw they throw everything at you at the same yeah, time. They, yeah. So, so let's say, for example, I tried level creating in Little Big Planet Two. It would take you around maybe two hours to complete just the tutorials. Yeah. Whereas Mario Maker, the tutorial takes one minute. <laughs> yeah, and they they make you go through the tutorials to unlock some stuff. Yeah. So. That was that was kind of it feels like it feels yeah. like a tedious lesson. <laughs> yes, exactly. This is like a fun lesson. Yeah, I never bothered yeah. with Little Big Planet. I played custom levels, but yeah, but I didn't build. I'm with you there. I mean, I, well, I haven't had a PlayStation. Every time I go to my friend's house, it's always fun to play online levels. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because they're just like so. It's like so complicated and. Yeah, like the amount of depth. Like while Mario Maker, you can do some stuff. Let's be honest. You can't compare it to the amount of depth that Little Big Planet has. 
And mm -hmm. one like that game has so many advanced mechanics. One advantage Mario Maker also has is you touch stuff to place it. You don't have to move the control yeah. stick around. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the controls are much better for creating Mario Maker. Also, it's Mario, so the, just, the platforming feels better. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, uh, but you can tweak the platforming in um, Little Big Planet. Like you said, it's it's really complex. You can do yeah. a bunch of stuff. Can you change with gravity it. in Little Big Planet? Yeah, yeah, you yeah. can. Yeah, so there's you could probably there's get it close to mine. Yeah. There's even a sequencer, so you can make your own themes. Damn. Yeah, that uh, game's but, but it's really complex, really hard to get into if you're new. Yep. Although if you make if you, if you want to try and if you really want to make some levels over there you can. Yeah. Learn yeah, the tools levels. are there. They're just overwhelming and complicated. Yep. Not exactly. And Mario Maker is easy. Yeah, Mario Maker is user friendly but deep at the same time. Yeah. And plus you know how stuff works now. Mm -hmm. You played a bunch of Mario yeah, games. Yeah, exactly. Like if you've played Mario, you know what all these things do. Yeah. The only thing you have left to discover is, you know, what's the difference with a green Koopa versus wings? with Red Koopa. Like, yeah. that was a cool discovery for me to make. I learned that the green ones hop up and down, but the red ones just float on the same, uh, what do you, yeah. like, a X, X position. And, like, yeah. I already knew really... that. Yeah. yeah. Oh, did you? Yeah, How, like, yeah. from the games? Yeah, the games. Wow. <laughs> I didn't even pick that up. Exactly. Exactly. Like, yeah. you already know how this stuff works. Yeah. So every time you get a new shipment with new yeah. tools, it's easy, easier yep. to create stuff. <laughs> plus, plus, every time you get a new shipment, they... They let you play a sample course that uses all that new stuff. That way you can see it in action. Do they? Yeah. Cool. It's, uh, I think those levels, all, uh, they're included where, uh, yeah. the Nintendo, your, your the 10 Mario stages unlock. Um, okay. Do they like, do they like pop up in there once you get the shipment? Yeah. It's, yeah. um, uh, and no, you, you can go into those sample levels bot, and mess around with them. On your, uh, course bot. In the top left, it says my yeah, stages correct. or something. Yeah, yeah, and you can go to like, yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, so they're in there. <laughs> okay, cool. And um, yeah, yeah, you can I've mess yet, around with them. Yeah, I've yet to get the new shipment, but once I do, I'll check that out. That's cool. Thank you. So yeah, um, I I, th I think if let let's do this as well because I, I wanted to um announce it on Twitter or something, or I think I did. Um, send us your levels, dear yes. listeners. Send us the codes for your levels. We'll play them. We will we'll play them, back. and we will talk about them if they're good. Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We will. Oh, wait, did you get the Sonic 1 level? I did not. That sounds cool, though. It's terrible. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's, like, really uh, yeah, I bad. A, yeah, I played a Sonic level. It was really bad. Most of the stuff, like, it has the half pipe thing, but it's made of coins. <laughs> um, There's, like, you know how Sonic 1 Green Hill Zone has that uh little tunnel i guess where like well, yeah, where... you're in a ball uh -huh. and going really yep. fast uh -huh, it tries mean. doing that with bounce oh, God. the trampoline things but i didn't even touch the trampolines <laughs> they were too far it, it was just a terrible stage i'm sure someone could do it with more effort <laughs> yeah Damn. i i i thought that sonic one might be an interesting stage or game to try to make stages from, but I don't know how easy it would be because yeah. there's nothing like the loop de loop. Uh, right. Sonic One has lots of slopes. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm sure. Yeah, I'm sure it's one of those things that'll be possible but difficult, and you'll have to, you know, do some workarounds Someone for. Made a first level from mutant muds. Oh, that's really? awesome! Yeah. Ooh, I need to play that. Uh, Jules Watson retweeted it. <laughs> Sweet. Oh, something. I don't know if you guys saw this on Twitter. But something that really pissed me off. Do you guys remember before the game came out, every press person was showing don't do shrooms. Yeah. Winners don't do shrooms. Oh, the yeah. the uh, on star rankings, the fifth mm -hmm. most played level is a rip off of that. Yeah, mm. and I got that for a hundred Mario challenge, and I just skipped. <laughs> Which really dis because it disappoints me for a couple reasons. Number one, the person's name is all lowercase. Um, <laughs> number two, it's a rip off. Don't do that. That's pretty much stealing their art. Number three, it's a, just a terrible level. <laughs> Whereas the first one was ingenious, this one's just lazy and bad. I really wish the media server didn't have to be a di different server. Yeah. Because then the actual good levels from there would rise to the top and said, I knew this would happen. This dumb... Uh, I'm not going to curse. This dumb girl, Katie, copied it. 
and I, it just makes me really mad. Re- go report that level one. I report <laughs> it. So I, I did. I reported. I said they copied this. They stole the art. This is basically plagiarism. Yeah. It is. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know that's gonna happen. Mm-hmm. But still, report it anyway. You never know. They could get. It. Yeah. So, like imagine, yeah. imagine being the creator of that level, of the original level. And and obviously the review servers get wiped, and you you go to play the game, and you look at number five, you're like, wait, that's not my level, but that's my idea. It's the fifth most played level of all time. Mm. Hopefully, he at least recreates it, cause hopefully he recreates it and gets more gets more plays. Yeah, and it I I'd play it. It looked challenging, yeah, oh, but fun. I, I want I love that level. I oh I really want to play it. Like that's an awesome concept, and it's executed well. Yeah, and this... then hers just like all I saw was. <laughs> Lack it like fifty lackadoos throwing exactly. mushrooms oh, down. Oh, like, I'm like, yeah, nope. Like, it's uncreative, uninspired piece of garbage. Don't play it. Report it. So yeah, that's my rant. Sorry about that. <laughs> <Good thing laughs> um, yeah. So I think that's it for Mario Maker for now. Mm-hmm. We'll for now, we're gonna talk about this for a long time. Yeah. Next week. Send us your levels, by the way. Yes. Like Next week we'll talk about levels we were sent, as well as mm-hmm. potentially the winner. If no oh, one gets yeah. the stages quick enough. If it's decided by then, yeah. Yeah, because um, we'll probably give it a week. Right. Well, I guess we won't determine that anyway because we'll record Friday next week. Yeah, true. Yeah, we'll, 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 figure we'll it out. see. We'll see how the poll goes first. Mm-hmm. Anyway, uh, question time. <clears throat> From anonymous meme, who's the worst persona waifu? Chie. Uh, yeah, Chie. All right, sure, Chie. Um. Worst Mario waifu. Hmm. From I guess Anonymous I'm say Wario. Roughly in a... Anonymous Wario. Um, baby Peach. Uh, I'm not into that. Yeah. Uh, baby baby Daisy. Peach. Baby Daisy. Any of the babies. Yeah, pretty Peach, much. Don't do that. Peach. Don't do that. No. Metal. Gold metal is hot as fuck. Yeah, man. It's, it's metal. By the way, you're cursed and you're editing. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> oh, oh, no, Connor. You can't blame this on us. Um... Yeah, I would have to go with other baby Peach or Daisy. We'll just skip to the questions. <laughs> True. Um, yeah. Uh, worst wave five amiibo from terrible username. Not so wonderful one on one quality. Uh, ooh, that's tough because I like them all a lot. Just wave five, because that's technically referring to Smash that term. But are we including things that launch the same day? Uh no, just Smash. Uh, oh, phew! I know, I know, Connor was gonna pick. So wave uh, five that that's in, that's even including uh, Dark Pit Palutena and the Retro Three Pack, okay? Okay. Um, hmm. Hmm. Uh, zero suit. I'm just gonna have to go with Zero Suit or Duck Hunt just because of their huge stands. Zero Suit stand covers her butt. Yeah, and then <laughs> Duck Hunt has the duck. <laughs> so that means it's not good. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really dislike any of their designs. It's just the stands are kind of annoying. At least, like, Zero Suit's stand isn't blue or something to make it look like she has this huge leg coming out of her ass. I'm going to say Palutena. I'm going to say Palutena. I don't like... She, she's, like, her mute is, like, really pale. Mm-hmm. And she has, like, really long uh, fingers. It's weird. But, yeah, true it is. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. That's that. Plugs. Uh, pluggies. Watch School Live 10. Uh, me and Arms were talking about this before. Best episode yet. Oh, arms! Arms loved every the single feels. scene. Oh, <laughs> the feels. I was spoiled a bit, not how something happened, but that it did happen. Uh, there's actually some character development, which I kind of gave up on expecting. Then, <laughs> Food Wars twenty three basically confirms anime only viewers will never know who wins the election arc, unless there's season two. So, so that's the end? No, there's episode 24, but there's like 20 chapters left. Oh. And this was like the last point they could really skip anything. Oh, oops. Because they oh, started a... kind of what those 20 chapters are. Um, so, yeah, I'm not going to read the manga. <laughs> pretty much you have to read the manga if you want to know who's going to win. It seems popular enough, though. I think season two... Plus, it's JC staff. They often do season two, even if it's not popular. But, uh... Uh, and Fault Milestone 2 side above review. I don't know when that's going up. But, yeah. True. Bam. 
yeah, then subscribe to our YouTube channel, like the video, leave a comment, uh, leave in the comment section, leave your Mario Maker level code on it, and we'll play it. We'll talk about it next week. Or tweet it. Or or tweet it, yeah. Email us if you want. <laughs> get checked. <laughs> subscribe and rate us on iTunes. That helps the podcast out. Visit and like us on Facebook, Wastecake Media. Follow us on Twitter. Uh, give out your Twitter usernames, guys, please. I'm at Dashy007. I'm at Double Three One. I'm at ArmsMXZ. Blazekick is at Blazekick Tweet. And lastly, visit Blazekick.com. There's a couple of articles up right now. We actually got like more articles this week than like any other. And it has Guy Fieri recipes. No. <laughs> I have one article up, so that's good. So, I posted uh, the Splatfest thing. Uh, if you want to know more about Pokemon Go, go to BlazeGate.com. Or North American Splatfest. <laughs> BlazeGate.com. Or turn on your Wii U. Play mm-hmm. Splatoon. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not there yet. Okay, or maybe it well, was today. I don't remember. Well, this is it for episode 32. We'll see you next week. Bye. Bye. Bye.